What's up guys and gals, it's your old buddy Goliath here. We just got some cool, very mysterious boxes from the girls at Five Wits. Great table, great vendor. I got a mystery box and it says, a boy detective with the wand came looking for this, but upon finding it, merely nodded and assured us that it should be, we should take it with us out of the Neverwinter and that we are correct person would find it. Find it, with, find it when the time was right. Do you remember hearing the song? If so, this story is for you. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. That's a big jar of a jellyfish. It's a jar and a jellyfish. Jellyfish in a jar. Is that a lot? Is that a real jellyfish? No, it's not a real jellyfish. It's not. There's a ducky. That's a mallard. There's a duck. Okay. I got a cool book. Let's see. It's a journal. It's a journal. Okay. Oh. There's a quill. Oh, it's a beautiful crystal. I got a beautiful feathered pen. It's a ring. Oh, I got another ring. Oh, that's a beautiful ring. Very beautiful ring. I got a beautiful in-case vase flower, which is very nice. Jellyfish. And then some beautiful crystals. So I got some really nice stuff. Oh, and wait. Oh, and there's music for Joan for the Forgotten. Oh, it's a ooh. The song of the Forgotten. So okay, I'm gonna try to learn to play that. I'm something. It looks like piano notes. So I got a pretty cool one. I'm very happy with what I got. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some more, guys. Ready? Hi guys. So I also got a box from Five Wits as well. So the story that mine says is, this mysterious box was found deep in the winding tunnels of a Venice catacomb, laid in an empty sarcophagus in a room full of strange and marvelous old mosaics depicting the traditions of some ancient secret society. At least that's what it looks like to us. Maybe it was just a record of some really wild artist parties. The likelihood that this will send you on a globe-trotting globe treasure hunt, unlocking the secrets of some ancient order and uncovering a long-lost treasure are not zero. All right, let's see. Woo! I have a nice little vial. I have a ring as well. Nice. It's very pretty. I doubt it will fit my finger. Vicky, it might most likely be yeah, yours. Put that one. Oh, I have a necklace. beautiful necklace. Oh, that's right up your alley. That is yes. Nice. I have a key. I have a key. What is this? I guess it's another little charm. I guess these are charms for like necklaces. Oh, what's in here? It's a bag. It's a bag. <laughs> oh. With a it's a pretty crystal. And that's it in my box. Okay guys, this is my itty bitty little box. And the description for it was, treasures of an elven queen retired after the death of her two mortal love and kept for long years by her descendants to the last. May it bring you joys evergreen and love and light undimmed by time and care. May it lighten your journey and charm your path, whether it leads you under leaves or amid high towers. So let's see what I got. Oh wow. So let's see. It has Limba's finishing sugar. So it's something about sugar. I don't know. That might be the vial. It might be the vial, oh, yeah. I hear it. So bring it. Yep, that's sugar. And it's definitely sugar. <laughs> oh, and a little crown. Oh, so That's cute. Pretty. What do you think? I think it's cute. What? I think it's cute. Uh, oh, there's more. Oh, what else is there? A couple crystal shards, but a crystal necklace. <gasps> oh, so pretty. That's nice. That's pretty. Oh, I'm jealous. Okay. So yeah, a few crystal shards, a crystal necklace, some sugar, and a crown. Not bad. Nice. Okay guys, that's it for the opening of our mystery boxes. Right now we're gonna head on over to the workshop to make our own little Pokeball habitats. And if we can get some in time, we'll show you our final results. Bye.